is Friday, March 1st, and this is episode 18 of Fearless Fridays. Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Uh, whether you're watching on Facebook or IGTV or YouTube, as always, I appreciate you watching. And I also appreciate your shares and your likes and your comments and your subscribes and all of those things. So thank you very much. Uh, today, man, guys, I just want to share some love. I want to show some love. I want to spread some love. And I want to remind us all, myself included, to love. Um, there's so much happening in our world. There's so much happening in our news, socially, politically, religiously, just so much happening. And I feel like there are so many people who are in desperate need of just love, a loving embrace a loving word, a loving thought or encouragement. There's really a great need for that. Um, I'm thinking about everything that's happening in the news politically and socially. And um, one thing that is coming to my mind specifically, um, and I don't want to say the person's name, but there is a situation happening with a certain Hollywood actor. Um, and I'm distressed by the situation for many reasons. But one of the reasons that I'm distressed by it is I'm distressed by the fact that people are so quick, people have been so quick and so eager to literally destroy this person in on, you know, on social media, in the news, people are doing their best to destroy this person. And this is something that we see a lot. Um, some political figure or some, you know, famous Hollywood music figure uh, does something that we don't like, says something that we don't like, and all of a sudden we're just ready to destroy them and drag them and cancel them. That's that's the word that we're using now. We're canceling people. People are canceled. <laughs> and I'm saddened by it because I feel like we've all done something wrong in our lives. We've all lied. We've all... Um, you know, made up a story. We have all done something wrong. We've all done something that has fallen short of a standard. We've all fallen short of maybe the standard that somebody else had for us. We've all fallen short of the standard that we would even have for ourselves. And when we fall short, when we do that wrong thing, we all hope and pray and beg for forgiveness and for grace and for mercy. Yet when something happens in our news, something happens in our, in our society, where someone does something wrong or says something that we don't like or whatever the situation is, we're so quick to drag the person and like cancel the person. Again, there's that word again, cancel the person. And we have no regard for their so their psychological state of being. We have no idea what they're dealing with in their mind, what they're dealing with in their heart, what they're dealing with in their spirit or in their soul that would cause them to maybe do wrong. But we also have no idea what our dragging of them or canceling of them is doing to them. And I'm sure it's, it's hurtful. It's hurtful to find yourself in a situation where you are being unloved in such a huge and uh, uh, loud way. It's hurtful. And again, I just want to share some love because I feel like, like I said, we've all done wrong things and we're all in need of grace. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't have a standard. I'm not saying that people shouldn't have to um, deal with the consequences of their actions because Definitely, we have to have a standard. We have to have a standard for ourselves. We have to have a standard for the people in our lives. We have to have a standard by which we live. And we all have to deal with the consequences of our actions. Every action comes with a consequence. It just does. And so I'm not saying that we shouldn't have standards. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that people shouldn't have to deal with consequences. But what I am saying is that one of the consequences shouldn't be you know, having your life destroyed <laughs> by the public. You know, one of the consequences can't be being dragged or being canceled um, by people who maybe a couple days ago were on your side, were your biggest fans or were your friends or whatever. Um, it's really, it's really, really distressing to see. 
we want to be the first to spill the tea. We want to be the first to have the tea, to sip the tea, to drink the tea. Everybody wants to be the first with the tea. And something that I decided for myself a little while ago, I decided for myself that, you know, we see these news stories and the headlines are clickbait. We all know that by now. There's so much clickbait out here. And we see the headline and we make a split second judgment or we read a part of the story or maybe we even read the full story and we make a split second judgment without waiting for more information, without waiting for more facts, without digging a little deeper to see if what we just read is even true. We just jump on it. We make a judgment. We throw it on social media. We destroy the person. We drag them. We cancel them. And then we all go about doing that all day, all week all month, all year, and then we move on to the next person. And something that I decided for myself a while ago was that I was not going to allow myself to jump on every news story that I saw. I decided for myself that I wanted to wait and let more facts come out, let more information come out, and not allow everybody else's opinion of the situation taint or color or decide my opinion. And I think that's something that we have to get into practice doing. We have to we have to do that. We have to stop jumping on everything so quickly um, and allowing ourselves to get so caught up in the frenzy of the tea that we don't make wise decisions, that we don't think for ourselves. You know, there's this whole thing happening with bullying and kids and bullying in schools. And we can't expect that our kids aren't going to be bullies if we're bullies. We can't expect that our kids are going to learn forgiveness and grace and mercy and giving people second chances if we don't forgive, if we don't show grace, if we don't show mercy, if we don't give people second chances. Our children will be what we model for them. Our children will see everything that we're doing and they will do those same things. So if we want our kids to grow up and be merciful and show grace and forgive and give people second chances and not be bullies, we have to model those things for them. We have to be what we want our world to be. We got to show a little bit more love. And so that's what I'm sharing today is showing a little bit more love. And I'm, and I'm talking to myself too, you know. I also want to make sure that I'm not dragging people. I want to make sure that I'm not canceling people. I want to make sure that I'm a person who knows how to give fair chances, who knows how to give second chances, who knows how to forgive, who knows how to show mercy, who knows how to show grace. I want to be that person. So I have to work on being that person every day. And one of the ways I can work on being that person, one of the ways we can all work on being that person is just by doing it just by not jumping on everything we see, not being so quick and so eager to drag people, not delighting in other people's downfall, but allowing people the space to make mistakes. And maybe maybe the consequence of the mistake has to, you know, be felt. That person will probably have to deal with the consequences of their actions. But while they're dealing with the consequences of their actions, we can still show them some love. We can still show them some grace. We can still forgive. We can still not drag them on social media. We can still not drag them in our conversations. Um, yeah, I think it's so important. And we're so in need of it. So many people are just in need of love. So many people are just in need of help. So many people are just in need. And the unfortunate thing about it is that there are a lot of people who are willing to do whatever it takes to get some attention because they equate attention with love. And really, they just need real love. We all just need real, real love. So yeah, that's what I want to share. Show a little bit more love, show a little bit more grace, the grace that you would want someone to show you, show that grace to somebody else. Um, I'm challenging myself to do that, and I'm challenging everyone out there to do that. Uh, as always, if you're stupid, get out in the world, live, love, go, do, be, and subscribe on YouTube. All right, I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.